Hello everyone, my name is Corinne and if you're here, it's probably because you saw me do 365 days of yoga on a short video I posted for fun and now that has 1.3 million views. And I read all your comments, I tried to respond to everyone. Actually, I think I responded to everyone except the mean comments, I left those on red. A lot of comments were about how you like the space, where I did my yoga and my apartment, so I thought I'd, did, I'd do a little apartment tour. I'm no decor professional, I actually work in construction. For me, like your home and your bedroom, if you're still living with your parents or with roommates or or even just your space. To me, a space is like a little love nest, like a, a love you letter to yourself from yourself. And to me, when I'm in a, a space where I find inspiring, I feel good, I feel inspired, I feel at home. So this is what I wanna share with you today. I wanna share with you my little home. I live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I am renting this apartment. And it's a one bedroom, but one guest room slash office. Place. I'll show you the apartment and I'll show you all the things that I think make it special and how you can do that in your home as well. So when you come in, this is kind of like the hallway. It's a good space to have. These are all my recycled bags. I made this when I was bored. Very easy, just yarn and piece of wood. I like plants. You'll notice that I have a lot of plants and that the floors crack a lot. So I'd say what makes a beautiful home is what makes you happy. And it's okay if it doesn't match. Like if you look at all this, nothing really matches, but then it all matches because you love it. Something I think makes an apartment special is the pieces. So a lot of my decor is just souvenirs or things I have. So this paddle was made, I was working on a golf course in Maine. Two of my colleagues, Max and Ray, and they made me a paddle. They used cherry wood so it would be pink and they put thank you from Max and Ray. And to me, that was, it's one of the most beautiful gifts I've ever received. So I had to expose it in my house, in my room. So I just keep it on the wall. As I said, I have a lot of plants and I am a firm believer that fresh flowers can change the mood. I don't always buy fresh flowers because I spend too much on things that don't last. So my plan was to buy a lot of plants, so many plants. And like that, they last for forever if you take care of them well and it, they're pretty to look at. So when I don't buy fresh flowers, I buy a plant. It's my addiction. And everybody loved in the YouTube video was this fireplace. So it's an electric fireplace. It does heat, but you just stir it like this. I won't put some heat on, but it makes any room look so cozy. And I don't have a TV and this was my TV. This is what I invested in. I wanted a piece that people could look at when they came. And here I set up my office. So when I work from home, I have a little space and uh, my vision board, which I'm not too comfortable sharing. Uh, and then we can go into the kitchen. The kitchen is, oh, I don't have a favorite room I'm lying because this one is also magical. This is just the cutest. It's old church benches with a table. Uh, in the morning, I do my tarot here. I write in my journal for the morning. This is my grandpa and my grandma. My grandpa recently passed away, so I have him on the table. And I, I grow new plants right here to replant. These are all like my friend Julie made me this for my birthday. This is from a thrift store in Vermont. This is a little gift from a friend. 
my brother Simon gifted me with this shelf so I could put all my mugs. I have a mug addiction. And for me, it's important that it looks pretty. It's not functional, but it makes me happy. And I try not to clean up too much. I want you to see how it usually looks. So to me, it's just inspiring and it works. I have my salt in here, my olive oil. An important reminder that dreams do come true. Uh, this is a little tight area, coffee and oven, fridge and some more space here. And of course, the Czech board floors, which are our Montreal staple, at least to me. What I like about this apartment is that you have a, a heart, like the heart of this apartment is this room. So this rug was my first big girl purchase. It's a sheepskin rug I bought on the side of the highway in Massachusetts. This other rug is just phenomenal. This I bought on Facebook Marketplace. My mom made this table. My mom repainted this for me. This is my parents' old mirror. Everything just kind of works. This, oh, this piece I'm so proud of. I found this piece of wood exactly like this on a beach on Anticosti Island exactly like this it's it's my will it was my sign from the universe to keep being adventurous i love rocks i love rocks so these are some pieces that i found um this is a little piece from the thrift store here i have a heart that julie brought to me from mexico so it's a little things that count this is my brother my aunt makes these lovebirds, they're so comfortable. I just put plants, put plants, put things I love. And my bedroom is over here. I have a little balcony and a little fire escape I can go on. It's a little cold today. This is a painting my mom made. She's a brilliant artist. It's one of the most beautiful art pieces I've ever owned. I build these shelves with nothing and they also hold with nothing. It could fall at any moment. And um, I'm very, very proud of these. I found them on Facebook Marketplace and they're hand painted. I think they're so beautiful. If I don't see my clothes, I don't wear them. So I put myself a little hanger there to see my things. And another favorite room. I don't have a favorite. I love them all. This is the bathroom. I love the window in the shower slash bath, but I didn't want my neighbors to see me. So I put shelves with plants and I don't have much space. So I just have a board here that I move for my products in the morning when I want to do it. my makeup some art and I painted blue and I like to decorate a little so I put a ribbon here if you don't know where to start if you're starting out and you want to start decorating your homes I would have three tips for you my first tip is to start with white walls I can decorate around the white it gives me more flexibility to just add colorful pieces like this and the rug and then if you feel like it after your, your furniture is put and everything works, you can add some color. But I feel like white or cream or neutral color is a good slate to start with. I would also recommend plants. Plants fill up the room and you don't have to do much. They just, they, they really just fill up the room. And another thing I really like is pictures. Pictures that inspire me. So these are my recommendations for decorating your own space. It doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to cost much. Um, I'm renting this space, so I'm probably gonna have to paint over the mural when I leave. And, and so it's all easy things. I didn't do anything major. I just put plants, I put love, I put little string lights like over here. It's just the little things, the attention you put to the detail and, and really make sure the things you have in your home you love because it's, it's a space, it's your space, it should be a space that recharges you, that makes you feel good, that inspires you. And we can all create these little bubbles, we just have to make a little effort. And um, 
I think it's accessible. It just takes a little time. Now here in Quebec, lockdown is still pretty. I will say the word, I can't swear, I think. I will say the word sucky, <laughs> it's sucky. Um, we have a curfew at 8 p.m. So I know that it's it's easy to get de demoralized in these times. So if you have time on your hand, maybe decorating your space can, can be a nice project to keep you holding on until we're all vaccinated and we can live our lives again. Thank you for watching.